This video will explain the access levels and their relevant features in an IPD series DSP amplifier. The access modes have different settings available and allow a higher level operator to deny access to certain features to the lower operator levels. The operator hierarchy is as follows, one being the lowest level. Level one, locked access. This is when the unit is locked from software or the front panel. Level two, user access. This is the default operating mode. Level three, admin access. This is the higher level default operating mode. In locked mode, certain features defined at the admin level can be disabled. The lock state is removed by entering user or admin mode. To lock the unit from the front panel, press Menu, navigate to Device Config, and then select Lock Unit. To unlock the unit from the front panel, press Menu, navigate to Device Config, then select Unlock Unit. Then use the encoder to enter the user or admin password to unlock the unit. To lock the unit from the IntelliDrive software, click Mixer on the unit you want to lock, click Hardware, and then Lock Unit. To unlock a unit from IntelliDrive, click Hardware, then click Enter Password to enter user or admin passwords to unlock the unit. In User Mode, features defined at the admin level can be disabled. To enter User Mode from IntelliDrive, you simply click the Hardware menu and click Enter Password. The default user password is Password with a capital P. You can change the user level password in IntelliDrive by clicking Hardware, then Configure, then Change Password. In Admin Mode, you can define which settings are disabled in Locked Mode and User Mode. You can also change network settings, choose the power on preset and set the auto power down time threshold. To enter admin mode from IntelliDrive, you simply click the hardware menu and click enter password. The default admin password is AD underscore MIN with a capital A. To define lock state and user state access rights, click hardware, then configure and then Access Rights. Click on either Locked Access Rights or User Access Rights to define which settings are enabled or disabled. Using the three states of operation, IPD can provide a full solution from integrator to end user. For example, you may wish the user operator to be unable to control input or output functions, but wish for an admin operator to have access to input, but not output functions.